What's up, Piper Drivers? Welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, I have a most impressive, massive statue of Boba Fett on throne in the house. Let's dive into it. That's right, Hyper Drivers. I can't be more excited to have the prototype here of the Boba Fett on throne uh, statue. And you can see the size of it. It's, it's super impressive. Um, definitely something to behold in person. It's really neat. And I'm going to try to get you guys that experience right here. So unlike my usual reviews, because this is a prototype and not the final product, the reason why this came about is because I took some pictures when I went to the studio and then I was able to take and post that on Instagram and on uh, TikTok. So by the way, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and TikTok, I tend to post pictures like this on there so you can see some different things. And I also try to post it in the community tab. And again, if, you, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, here on the Hyperdrive, we talk about Star Wars every week. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. So I contacted the studios because I was getting a lot of questions after I, I took those pictures and was posting them. And people were asking me, you know, what did I think about the size? Uh, what did I think about the weight of it, you know, the look of it, uh, how does it all go together? Lots of questions I got. So I contacted them and I was like, hey, you know, is it a possibility for me to be able to bring this over to my studio and then I could take some pictures of it and uh, answer questions uh, that I've been being asked about this piece. So that's what this is really about, is just to give you guys some more information about it. Uh, not necessarily for the purposes of ordering it, it's because it's already sold out, but, you know, at least... Uh, for you guys who are getting it, you know what you're gotten yourself into. And if you're hunting it, you know what you're going to be getting yourself into if you want to hunt it. So uh, anyway, let's get into it, right? So this is the uh, Boba Fett as depicted, in my opinion anyway, at the end of Mandalorian Season 3 when he killed Bib Fortuna and he assumed the throne in Jabba's palace. That's where I'm viewing this from. Um, it, you can also say that it's from Book of Boba Fett. I mean, if you want to, I know it's not the most popular TV show, but I mean, it's still, I think it, it, for me anyway, when I look at this piece, I, I see it as like the journey of this character, right? He went from bounty hunter to now crime lord, and I like the, the transition. So in my opinion, what I'm going to be doing is probably try to make a, you know, Boba Fett shrine wall or something where I have just different versions of Boba Fett as he's been depicted throughout the years. So that, that's how I feel about this piece. Uh, it's a very heavy statue. This thing weighs a little over 62 pounds. I weighed it on the scale. And um, yeah, so it's not something that you want to put on glass. Absolutely not. And if you're going to put it on a shelf, uh, I would recommend heavy supports for that shelf. Or in my opinion, what I'm going to do is make a pedestal or put it on top of a Besta where it, where it can have you know enough support to handle this weight because it's, it's very big and all of your weight of this statue is in the base. This is where all the weight is at. I would say at least 80 to 90 percent of the weight of this statue is here in the base so um yeah so okay got that told you guys about the weight all right so let's talk about the size this statue as you can see it blocks me <laughs> um is 25 inches wide all right about 14 inches deep or actually probably deeper if you consider the gargoyles so you probably want like 15 to 16 inches of depth all right and then um, it's about eh, close, to, close to 20 inches, probably at the top of the visors or the missile, um, as far as height goes. So that's about the, the space that you're gonna need for it. Uh, also, if you wanted to uh, maybe save on space, like if it's something that you know, you're gonna take and just put into a, a regular cube Besta, uh, and you don't wanna have to worry about the weight, you can actually display it without this lower section, because this part here is not keyed in in any kind of way. You could take and put this, right on your shelf and that would take out a huge amount of weight and you could definitely put it at that point on on a lighter shelf right so if you wanted to do something like that so that's an option uh, they did a great job with the styling of this lower section of the base it's not in scale with the actual Bobo, uh, or Jabba throne right because if they did that would be super huge so and, and a lot more heavier on top of that as well so you have three gargoyles instead of the or, you know four that are on the actual lower section uh, and then they have some accessories that they threw into it. So you have like this pillow that you can take and put into place. I didn't see any pillows in the final scene of the Mandalorian. So this is probably something I'm not really going to use, but there's no key for it either. So you could put it there or not put it there. I did see some cups and other kinds of like, um, you know, like 
glasses and bottles and stuff like that that were on the base during that final moments of that of that scene so that's something that uh, would be cool to have more of and they're designed pretty nicely they got like all kinds of scuffs and stuff and it, it, it gives it a nice look so this i could probably do some more with you have the uh, leather tarp that's supposed to be kind of like uh, animal skin um, so this is something that's going to get changed a little bit uh, I, I spoke with them and they're going to be putting in more weathering and they're going to make it look a little more uh, more weathered, more uh, distressed, uh, and then they're going to have some more like cutted, you know, cut edges, so it doesn't look like it was just cut with a knife. So that's going to be a little bit different when you get the final piece. Uh, the throne itself, like I said, it is removable from this lower section. Uh, it's also painted very well. I like that they're, they've used a lot of different colors, so it's not just like one matted paint. You got like browns and darker browns and kind of like a bronze uh, kind of look to it, tan look to it. So it does look like it was carved out of like sandstone or something. Uh, so that's the, the the feeling that I get with it. Uh, it was cool that they also included in, just like in that scene, these uh, gargoyle-looking heads that are actually the Rancor heads, actually. So the Rancor heads uh, that make up the forward part of your throne here. Um, in this particular prototype, it's not exactly accurate. They're kind of short. So I saw that. I hit them up, and they're going to actually extend this out a little bit more and that's going to do two things one it's going to make it look a little more accurate but the other thing that i like about it is that if it comes out a little further i'm going to feel a lot more comfortable about leaning this rifle here it's because as it sits right now it it'll hold but you know i'm a little bit scared of it because it just sits there so if it extends out a little bit further i feel like it'll catch better all right uh you got his rifle right here which this is the rifle as is depicted in the mandalorian and in uh, book of boba fett so you have a lot more details and greeblies all over it than the one from return of the jedi so you can see that you know really really nice work on on that one and it's got kind of like uh like a bluish gray in here into the into the actual uh muzzle and and in the scope so i think that that's done very nicely it's got a lot of nice detail on that and i think that looks good all right uh boba fett in this prototype right here kind of you know sits onto the throne there's no key and i think that's going to remain the way it is um the body itself is one part currently that could change uh but it's one part the head is going to be separated and then you also have a key right here where this uh, visor comes in the missile keys in so it pops out and there's a really strong magnet there and then there's some keys here for the actual engine thrusters that are on the jetpack so you have that and that's how that all keys into place. Real simple. There's not really any muss or fuss. And in this prototype, there's no seams. So that's cool too. Um, I like how he's sitting there. You know, he looks tough. He looks like a badass. This is what we all expected and wanted from Boba Fett when he was in Book of Boba Fett. Um, I like that he sits in the throne and his feet actually touch the floor. So that's cool. But that often I see with these statues and also with the six scale figures that when you put them in like a throne piece, you can't get them to, to land right. So that's, that's nice that that was capable of happening. Uh, lots of nice detail throughout the suit in this particular model. So, you know, you have like um, lots of like leatherish type of vibe or, or texture in the, in the boots. Uh, there's like wear and distress on the boots, which looks great. Different colors like tans and dark browns. Uh, you have the black that makes up the most of the, under the, of the undersuit. And there's texture in that as well. And the folds and the piping that they put into it looks really good. So I think they did a good job there as well. Um, you have the actual knee pads that look accurate to what they look like on the TV show. Um, I like that you have all of the mechanisms that make up his, uh, his arm bracers, you know, the missile and stuff. Um, so lots of neat little additions that they have right there. Uh, you have the Mythosaur skull, just like what you expect on the, on the shoulder pad, uh, the scarf that he has in the, in the TV show, and then the helmet and in the paint and the armor all has that look like it's been repainted. Uh, but it still has like a distressed, dirty type of look to it. So there's um, like on the back of the helmet here, it's not just like straight flat color. There's like a little bit of uh, darker colors mixed, you know, in and some speckles and stuff like that to give it the look like, you know, he's still used it. So there's scuffing and scars and stuff like that. So that looks good. Uh, dents and all that other stuff to give it that, that feeling like, you know, Boba Fett's been fighting. So super cool the way that all came out. Um, I, I love it, all right? Um, I ordered one for myself, so just to let you guys know where I stand on it, I like the piece enough that I ordered it. Uh, it's a really big piece, 
they are adding some additions to this as well. So like they're right now in talks about trying to create a Fennec to go with it. And then what's gonna happen here is that there's gonna be a key right into this armrest right here. And then Fennec can actually sit on the throne right next to him. So that's gonna be dope too. So I think that all of that is gonna make this one hell of a, of a statement piece when people come in, right? Definitely something as a, for a conversation piece. Uh, a little bit difficult, I think, to display because of the width. Uh, so you are going to need some some space. But other than that, I still think it's a pretty fantastic looking uh, idea here that they came up with. So that's it. That's what you got going on here. Hopefully I answered most of your questions that you were asking about, anybody that asked me any questions about it. Um, and if you got more questions, you know, I'm always here. You can always hit me up and I'll try to respond uh, as soon as I get an answer. So that's my thoughts on this one anyway. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. And until next time, may the force be with you.